Hey guys, so just received this ramp for my Sire V7 fretless and um, from a company called Finger Ramp, based in Italy. So I thought I'd just do a very quick review and like my initial thoughts after putting the ramp on my base and just tell you all about it, what I think about it. Um, I'll give a big shout out as well to my UK dealer of ramps who works in a music shop. Um, he sorted me out with the ramp for my move on and he sorted me out with this ramp as well. Um, so I'm super grateful he made the order and process like really easy and everything was easy. Yeah, it was great. Um, so to talk about the company, fingerramp.com, I'm not affiliated with them at all. Um, I just bought one of the products and I want to tell you what it's like. Um, they're on reverb and I'll show you some screenshots and some screen recordings of what this store looks like. I think they're called U-Base Finger Ramp or something on, on reverb. Um, I'll put the actual name down here for you so you can have a look at it. So yeah, um, I've had loads of ramps. I've had custom made ramps, I've had boutique ramps, I've had ramps that go in between the pickups like this that have been made for me. I've had stock ramps, I've made my own ramps. Um, I've got ramps on my ACG, I've got a custom rooted in ramp on my shuka so i'm a big fan of ramps and i've had loads of experience so first off you've seen the box and you've seen what it comes like so it comes with the ramp in like a nice cellophane pack it comes with double-sided adhesive on the bottoms uh, on the bottom of the ramp sorry and it comes with extra adhesive as well which is great because with a ramp and if you're used to fitting ramps and this is something that if you're not used to ramps like you'll sort of get used to quickly it's not like a one size fits all solution, whether it's to do with height, whether it's to do with where you want it, how you want it. So including these extra bits of double sided tapes really helpful. So it means you can just get it exactly how you want it. Maybe you play with like a really, really high up ramp. So there's like two mil clearance. Like that's how I used to play. Maybe you want your ramp really low. So it just gives you that scope, you know, that, that sort of um, that sort of like height adjustment scope that you get with the rooted in ramps that have got the screws. Um, so fit and finish of it it's really well made so i'll show it to this camera here while i whack the base on the table so it's really well made um it looks to me like some sort of wood like an ebony or something uh, i'm not entirely sure and it's sanded to sort of really a really smooth finish but not like a super not like a vinyl like i used to put this vinyl like sticky back plastic onto ramp so it's obviously nothing like that it's not like a shiny finish it's more matte um, and it's sanded down. A couple of cool features of it. It matches the radius of your fingerboard. Like they've got a load of ramps, as you've seen in the screenshot and the screen recording for all different kinds of bases. They all match the radius of the fingerboard, which is really important. So you can get a consistent ramp height. Um, they do lots of different pickup space in 60s, 70s, all that good stuff. So yeah, as far as it goes for around 60 pounds, I feel like it's really hard to beat. You know, I've paid like 80, 150, 180 quid for rooted in ramps so this is like a real budget option for some and for someone who doesn't want to make like major sort of life-changing altering modifications to your base you know like my rooted in ramps which i love like that works for me like i really like it but i know it like dominates the look of the base for so someone who doesn't want to do that this is a really good solution for really cheap and um, so i'll have a little play of it just to show you what it feels like. I know they're a controversial subject ramps and I know people say, why do you use them? I get so many messages. Why do you use ramps? It's cheating. Why do you do this? Why do you do that? At the end of the day, it comes down to comfort for me personally. It comes down to like an action choice. Why do you play with high action? Why do you play with medium action? Why do you play with low action? It's entirely up to you what you play with. Like when I got into floating thumb and multiple finger techniques, ramps just felt really comfortable for me. I can play without them. I can play with them. I like to play with them, but I've got loads of bases like the Mulan. Even though I got sent an amazing ramp, probably half the time I run it without the ramp. Half the time I run it with the ramp, it's just entirely up to you. Okay, so I'll give you a little sound demo. Obviously, it doesn't really change the sound of your bass at all, depending on where you put it, like how high up you put it. And what I mean by that is sometimes if you're slapping, it's worth noting. I don't think anyone addressed this. If you're slapping and you have your ramp really high up, obviously slapping, you're relying on the string, hitting the board and bouncing back up. It can choke the slap sometimes. I don't think it'll do it on this. Bit. so it's choking it a tiny bit something just to be aware of but apart from that it doesn't really alter the tonality of your bass so i'll just have a little play of it let you see like my right hand over the ramp maybe try some you know fingers like three four finger techniques multi-finger techniques and then uh, we'll call it but big shout out i'll tag um my uk dealer of ramps below as well so you can check them out and he can sort you out if you want one cheers guys